Hey gang, that was Homesick by the Atlanta Rhythm Section. Uh, long overdue request, and I apologize about the lateness in getting this one out. I love this tune. I love this simple riff, and it's a simple one, but really cool. And the solo, man, another really cool solo. Simple and very short, but a lot of really cool lines, slightly different. Anyway, we're going to do it all note for note in just a second. Hey, and if you like the video, click the like button, and if you haven't yet, subscribe for one of these every week. Okay, see you in just a second. All right, gang. Let's go over this note for note. First things first, you want to download the tab from the link in the description below. Homesick, 1981. What I remember most about this song is the line, where were you in 69? Smoking dope and drinking wine. <laughs> but it's a cool song uh, regardless. Okay. Uh, we're going to go over the opening riff, then we'll cover the chords, and then we'll cover the solo. All right, opening riff. Probably the coolest part about this song, I think. And here it goes. I'm going to play it very slowly. It's in G minor pentatonic. It kind of goes like this. Okay, we are going to start on the fourth string, fifth fret, and play this line first. Okay, pretty straightforward. We're playing on the fourth, walking down G minor pentatonic to the fifth string third fret. Then we're going to jump up to the third and play this. So the third string, third fret, we're going to play that and bend that just a little bit. Okay. Uh, then we're going to play a couple of pull-offs on the third string from the fifth to third. So that's uh, tw the second time we're walking down on the fourth as well. Now the cool line. One more time. We're bending up on the third string, fifth fret, a whole step, and then when we come down, we're pulling off to the third immediately. And playing sort of double time, double fast time on that whole lick. Okay? You'll notice that sounds way cooler than this. So instead of playing that note on the second, third fret, right? We're bending up to it. Way cooler. Okay, here's the last two parts of that. That's it for that, okay? Here it is one more time slowly. Let's cover the chords. So the chords can best be understood by power chords, okay? And that is on a sixth string power chord, like this G that it's going to start out with, we're going to play the root, which will be on the sixth string, and then we'll play the notes that are on the fifth string and fourth string. If we play a fifth string root power chord, we'll play the fifth, fourth, and third strings, okay? So all of these basically have two little bass notes first. Uh, well, let me play the demo of it first, kind of slowly. Okay, um, so that's it. So we're going to start out with a G power chord, two bass notes first. Then we're going to walk up to a B flat power chord using the open A string, so like this. Now F power chord, C power chord. Okay, and the end kind of goes like this. So that's F to G. Trail that off, and then play B flat, F to G. Okay, so that part goes like this. Two ending chords are like this. And that is just really a B flat to an F to a B flat, 
but we're just playing it on the third and fourth string. So we'll play a B flat on the third and fourth strings, then an F on the third and fourth strings, and then back to the B flat. What that is in frets is on the fourth and third strings respectively, it is 3-3, three, 3-2, three, three, to 3-3. Three, three. Okay, tab's gonna help you there, all right? That's that part. Now, uh, there's this little transition piece that kind of goes like this. Okay, the chords that are going on there are really simple. It's really just a C. To a C suspended fourth. And then whatever you want to play there, like this or. That ending was what we've already covered. All right, so that's it for the chords. Now for the solo, the solo is played over this chord right, this chord sequence right here. That's the whole thing. So it's gonna start out on this C chord. And the first line uh, fits that C chord. So let me play the first line. Kind of goes like this. Kind of reminiscent of the song Summer Breeze, isn't it? All right. So I love this line, actually. I think it's great. It kind of outlines a C seventh chord, a C major chord. It hits that major third of the C chord, which is cool. All right, so we're going to start out on the 11th, bend that up twice. Let it come down and drop it to the 8th, and then uh, the 10th on the 3rd string. So we're starting on the 2nd string, coming down to the 3rd. Now we'll play the 9th, and that's the 3rd of a C major chord, which makes it kind of cool. It doesn't sound as bluesy if, as if you came down to the minor 3rd, okay? Then the fourth string, uh, uh, tenth fret. And then we're just gonna walk back up. Okay, so that's tenth. And then ninth on the third, tenth. Bend it up a whole step. And come back down. All right, now a standard blues lick. The next one is this one. Oops, I'm sorry. All right, now that is a standard uh, C7 blues lick with just a little twist, and I fell for the, the old standard. Okay, so we're, we're playing here, think about playing a C minor pentatonic, and we're playing a bending it up on the 10th fret, a whole step, and playing the 11th, okay? Three times. And then one more time and bring it down. And now instead of playing the eighth, which is normal, what you'd play in a blues, that's kind of normal. Instead of doing that, you come down the not to the ninth, and that sounds, it hits that major third again. Okay, so we'll hit the ninth and then end up on the tenth on the on the fourth string. Okay, last part coming out of it is this. We're going to play in the second string, 13th fret, and play. Very, very cool line, okay? So we're playing up on the 13th, bending that a whole step, playing the 13th on the first. Then playing the second again, bringing it down. Playing the 11th, 13th. 11th again, 13th, and then 10th on the 3rd. 
One more time, here it is. And be nimble about that going from the 13th to the 10th. That's what makes that interval really cool. All right, then we're going to come it now. This is the end when he's going to this. So we're back into G minor pentatonic land instead of playing over that C chord. Okay, so it starts out like this. So we'll slide up to the third string, 12th fret again. And that's a G note, so you'll notice you're, you're mimicking or you're hitting that G chord. Then we're going to play this line. Standard uh, minor pentatonic sounding thing. Uh, we're starting out with a fourth fret. I'm sorry, fourth string, tenth fret, coming up to the twelfth. All right. Ending up with this. Here's the last line. Okay, so we're going to slide up on the 4th string, we're going to slide from the 10th to the 12th, then play it again. Back to the 10th, to the 8th, and then we're going to walk down 11, 10, 8. End it up like this, 5th string 10th, 4th uh, string 8th, 10th again, and bend it up a, about a quarter step, maybe a half step. All right, here's the last line. A little bit slower on that last one. And that is the solo, my friends. Well, there you have it, gang. Homesick by the Atlanta Rhythm Section. A great riff and a great little solo. Uh, and not all that hard. All right, we'll see you on down the road.